welcome Melissa Gorga. First of all, you're making my jumpsuit feel real sad. <laughs> I'm gonna go food shopping after this. Look, let's look at the shoe cam here, Rick. You got there some you sexy go. shoes on. Hey, they're clogging. Yes. Thanks. All right, so the reunion part one was last night and you're right in the middle of it. Crazy. Now you've had lots of rocky ups and downs moments with your sister-in-law, Teresa. What do you think is, why do you think she was coming for you like that? I don't know, to be honest, we had dinner like a couple days before we were eating like pasta at her house. And so I feel like she woke up on the wrong side of the bed that day. I was like, what's going on with you? I think her ponytail was too tight. It was too tight. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, I just think like, I don't know. I was like, I was a little in shock. I have to say, I felt a little sucker punch that day. Um, but we're family, we're sister-in-laws, like this happens. But I was like, I kept saying like, what's the matter? Like what's, what's wrong? Like she didn't tell me any of this was bothering her before we got to the reunion, so that annoyed me. And what was she saying was bothering her? Like, I'm still confused. I guess because, you know, I, I see Jackie's point of view, right. and that bothered her. Jackie's but the, the new girl that kind of came for yes, a little bit. Yeah. And challenged her a little bit. Yeah, yeah, but you know what? Jackie was defending me on a lot of the stuff she said, so how could I not back up Jackie, right. who's defending me? Uh, like, I'm arguing with my sister-in-law over something, saying I can't control my husband. Jackie's backing me up on that, saying she believes that I can't, so how can I yell at Jackie for backing me up? It doesn't make any sense. You know? Well, yeah. I mean, here, here's my opinion, is I think Teresa wants to love you and she knows you're very important in helping her raise her children while Joe's away. But I think there's still that jealousy that you got on her show. Like, I still think she goes up and down with like, sometimes she likes it and sometimes she's like, no, you got to adhere to me, I was here first. Right, but you know what, I, I you might be right about that. Um, I, what I'm sick of at this point, I think I've really grown into my own um, from yes. starting the show as a young, 30 year old into my late 30s now. <laughs> like it's, honestly, I think I'm just sick of the double standards. I'm done. Like what's good for you is good for me. Exactly. I, I have like grown up, I have a backbone. I'm gonna defend myself. I'm done taking crap from anyone. Well, yeah, I'm done. You know, and there, there's, a, there's enough success for everybody. And they, they have to realize that what makes the show great is keeping the best people on and active on it. So it's like, I don't like that she was going for you, but what do you think will happen with her and Joe when Joe gets deported? Because we, we say I mean, a little bit that there's been rumblings that she is not gonna go back to Italy with him. Well, I think she said that out loud. Yeah. Yeah, she says that at the reunion that they will, you know. And listen, that's so touchy because of the girls. You know, yeah. there's kids, nobody wishes that. We're all praying for that. Hopefully that turns around. It's not over yet. Yeah. You know, Hopefully, so yeah. yeah, the final answer is not here yet. So we'll see what happens. That's but what I mean, you know, that that's a lot for her to do, to leave her success here, to take her kids out of school. It is a lot, It would yeah. be, I, I would think if, if, if I was Joe, I would not want that. I would not want to disrupt my family like that. Right, you know? she has daughter about to go to college. Right. And there's things going on. You can't just pick up and leave the country. You know? So Danielle really brought the drama. Danielle. Danielle. Prostitution whore! Oh, she's, <laughs> she's back, which is, I, I, look, I wanted her to come back. I thought it would be interesting. I did not like her this season. I thought it was very contrived, this whole wedding. You're in it. I'm in the wedding. And I mean, it just felt like the whole thing was for her to get back on this show and get in with you guys. And I think it was very con confusing to everyone why Teresa, who did have the, you know, the most monumental fight in Housewives history, flipping the table because she was so annoyed with her, that now she's defending her against all of you guys. It just is very bizarre. Well, Danielle has like this new obsession with Teresa. Like everything Teresa says is right. Anything Teresa says, she's gonna back her up. Yes. And Teresa's a yes person. She right. like, the more you yes her, the more you're in. So I think these two are just like, you know, they're together. Well, at, at the last episode, it was kind of interesting because she was like, you're Teresa Judice. Nobody tells you what to do. And she's like, yeah, nobody tells me what to do. <laughs> like it was like, she was almost like a boxing like, coach. Right. Like you go out there, girl, you know you are. And she's like, yeah, that's right. Like, she was like, like what's she going was on? Like, a great man. Like, 
like, yeah. I know. It was like, and you know who you are, right? right? And then she walks out and she's like, I'm Teresa. You don't tell me what to do. <laughs> I was like, this is great. This is like, two, they're amping each other up. It's like. Well, I, I love your marriage is one of my, might be my favorite marriage oh, throughout the franchise. You. <laughs> You've thank been married you. for over 14 years. Yes. You have survived the housewife divorce curse. I have. Um, so how far, so how do you keep it going? How do you keep it hot? Because Joe is really good looking. Thank oh, you. It couldn't be that hard. Thank you. Oh, and look who's in the audience. <laughs> You know what, we still date, we still flirt. And I have to give a lot of this to Joe too. He's like flirtatious, he treats me like he just met me yesterday. Yes. Like, it's like I'm still in high school with him and he still bats his eyes and flirts and we, we date, we still date. You That's know? awesome. Yeah, yeah I, lo I love it. Yeah. And so I his nickname you. is Tarzan. I, I don't go, I, don't... I feel like he named that himself. He did. Okay, he well named... then that doesn't... <laughs> I think... I don't think nicknames are supposed to be self-inflicted. Like, I think it's supposed to be Someone's like, supposed to nickname yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I've never nicknamed, <laughs> I've never even called that thing Tarzan. I think, I think that's ridiculous. He yes. just, he makes things up. He makes that name up in his head, you know. Um, <laughs> It's interesting because we both have three kids. We kept, when we talked the other day, we had a lot in common. And so you've got your daughter who just turned a teenager, your yes. two little boys. Yes. And how is that raising them? And you've got this old school Italian Joe who we see he's coming around, but he's very strict about your beautiful daughter. He so what's is. What's going on? He is. You know, he has so many old school like values inside of him, which make him who he is and make him amazing. Right. But I'm also trying to break a wall with him. Even when it just comes to me with working and being, you know, busier than I used to be. Um, the gender role thing, I think we touch on it a lot this season and you guys see us go right. through that. Like, everyone thinks we're perfect. We're not perfect. We struggle. We have our things. We have our issues like any other marriage. Um, but I'm breaking him in. He's gotten a lot better. I think he's listening to me. He's listening. I do. I get, I get that. Yeah. And you know, and how do you feel about like continuing on? What, how have how have you like survived that the whole world is watching your marriage? And that if, if he does something that someone doesn't like the way he asked for coffee, you get you know twenty five billion tweets about it oh from my like gosh, you know yeah. annoying other women. That must does that ever like have you guys start a fight about something that's not even important like these other. Elements. Yeah, I think the reality TV aspect, um, it, it causes strain on all these matters. I mean, look at the divorce rate for housewives in general. It's, it's high and it's a struggle. It's not easy. Um, you have to stay grounded. I think him and I are really good at keeping yes. our family tight, having dinner with them still. We're not like in this fake world of right. like, there's two worlds here. And we go to work and we go home and we still have a family. We still have our kids. Our kids are unaffected by this show. Yes. They really are, so. Um, and, you, and you get busy. You get busy regularly. It's important. It's yeah. important to go get sexual. <laughs> um, thank you for being here, Melissa. And please check out The Real Housewives of New Jersey Reunion Part 2 on Wednesday night on Bravo at 9 o'clock.